Good morning. Welcome to Santiago de Compostela Parish. We welcome the people joining us via live stream, as well as all of us here. So let's welcome our fellow 6 a.m. journeyers as we come together as the one church of God. And let us begin our celebration singing song number 676. 676, the cry of the poor. Is the cry of the poor. Blessed be the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. With praise ever in my mouth, let my soul glory in the Lord. Who will hear the cry of the poor? The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Blessed be the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. You come in wood and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Priest Eleison, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Kyrie Eleison, Kyrie Eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, how can one of you with a case, how can one of you have a case against another? Dare bring it to the unjust for judgment instead of the holy ones. Do you not know that the holy ones will judge the world if the world is to be judged by you, are you unqualified for the lowest law courts? Do you not know that you will judge angels? Then why not everyday matters? If therefore you have courts for everyday matters, do you seat as judges people with no standing in the church? I say this to shame you. Can it be that there are not among you wise enough to be able to settle a case between brothers? 
but rather brother goes to court against brother, and that before unbelievers. Now indeed, then, this is the case, a failure on your part that you have lawsuits against one another. Why not rather put up with injustice? Why not rather let yourselves be cheated? Instead, you inflict injustice and cheat, and this to brothers. Do you not know that the unjust will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor boy prostitutes, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor slanders, nor robbers will inherit the kingdom of God. That is what some of you used to be. But now you had yourselves washed. You were sanctified. You were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and in the spirit of our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon the cou their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The Lord takes the light in his people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I choose you from the world that you may go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus departed to the mountain to pray and he spent the night in prayer to God when he came he called his disciples to himself and from them he chose 12 whom he also named apostles Simon whom he named Peter and his brother Andrew James John Philip Bartholomew Matthew Thomas James the son of Alphaeus Simon who was called a zealot, Judas the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. And he came down with them and stood on a stretch of level ground, a great crowd of disciples and a large number of people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the coastal regions of Tyre and Sidon came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And even those who were tormented by unclean spirits were cured. Everyone in the crowd sought to touch him because power came forth from him and healed them all. The Gospel of the Lord. Many times we live in a world that we may be perceive as being unjust. We heard on Sunday 
as Father Pascal shared with us about the missions in, in, with the Cross Catholic ministry, how people have to walk miles at times just to get water and the struggle to get quality medical care. We may hear of one person unjustly swindling another person. We may hear of a person who ends up in the hospital through no fault of their own because somebody else was driving impaired. Or we may hear of how one person uses their power to abuse another. And in our hearts we cry out, that's unjust, that's not fair. And we may almost be frustrated with God. Why isn't God doing something about it? Well, in the gospel today, we heard Jesus doing something about it. We hear Jesus establishing the church. And as we pray in the creed, we say, we believe in one holy Catholic apostolic church. And that church that Jesus established founded on the apostles. And we hear in our first reading how St. Paul was frustrated with the people that he was writing the letter to. Why are you treating others unjustly? You see, the church was established by God to bring justice to the world, to bring healing to the world. Now, the English language, we sometimes think of the word church, and what do we think of? This building. In fact, this morning, I was, I was saying goodbye to my wife, and I said, I'm going to church now. But that's not the one holy Catholic apostolic church that Christ established. You see, you and I are church. As we come here to this liturgy to be fed by God's word, to be fed at the, from the food from this altar, at the end, we are always sent with the word go. Go forth, go in peace, go and announce. But we're sent to go. We're called to be church as we go. But yet, we recognize sometimes that the world is unjust. Sadly, justice doesn't always come from within the church. But that's not what God calls us to do. God calls you and I to be justice to others. You and I are called to be church. When we see all those lists of injustices, what is our response? should be the same as we heard Jesus' response at the beginning of today's gospel. Jesus went to pray, and he prayed all night. In the face of injustice, we shouldn't be looking to the unjust, but recognize that God has chosen us out of the world. Just as St. Paul said in the first reading, yes, all of us may have been sinners, and there was the list of sins that we may have committed. And yet, Jesus chose us. Just as he chose the apostles. They weren't the most talented. They weren't the logical choice. But through baptism, we might not be the most talented. We might not be the logical choice. But God has made us holy. Let us take into heart the words we heard in the gospel acclamation, recognizing that God wasn't just saying this about the apostles, but was saying it about each one of us. I have chosen you out of this world. Why? To go and bear fruit that will last. God calls his chosen ones to fulfill his will. Let us pray confidently to our Father, knowing that he wishes his people to intercede for the world. Our response, Father, hear us in Christ. Father, hear us in Christ. That the church, through the Pope and bishops, may lead us to the fullness of Christian life. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Father, lead us in Christ. That statement, statement may guide our nations to the future stability and development of our nation. Let us pray to the Lord. That we may persevere and be faithful in the vocation God has called us to undertake. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, hear, hear us, us in Christ. Christ. That the old, the sick, and the lonely may realize God's presence in their trials and their difficulties. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father hear, hear us, us in, in Christ. Christ. That the dead may rest in the peace of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father hear, hear us in Christ. Christ. For the repose of the soul of Maria de Jesus Flores and for Joel Katapuram, for whom we offer this holy mass, let us also remember Father Thomas and our fellow parishioners who are on pilgrimage. And for those intentions we carry in our hearts and those in the ark of prayer before our altar, we pray. Father, hear, hear us, us in Christ. Christ. Almighty God, as we make these prayers, we come to do your will. Accept us in your beloved Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Sominus Deus Sabaoth, Plenis Uncelii et Terra, 
gloria tua, Hosanna in excelsis, benedictus qui venit in nomine domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At our Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. On you stay, quit all is Misere nos, agnus Dei, qui tolis peccato. Behold the Lamb of God. <clears throat> Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. For our brothers and sisters who join us live stream, let us pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our concluding hymn will be number 682, Make Me a Channel of Your Peace, after our prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits. Go about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Make me a channel of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me bring your love. Where there is injury or pardon, Lord, and where there's our true faith in you, make me a channel of your peace. Where there's despair in life, let me bring hope. Where there is darkness, only light. And where there's sadness, ever joy. O Master, grant that I may never seek so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love with all my soul. Make me a channel of your peace. It is in pardoning 